Hello everyone and welcome, I'm Alex, the architect for Backfrap, and today we'll continue our Flutter and PAR series of videos. In, inside this series we have a sub-series called Data Objects, where we explore all the data types that we can support inside a parse application. Today we'll be talking about arrays, or in the case of Flutter, lists. So here I am in my back for app to do app inside my to do Flutter class, and I can add a new column to this class of the array type where I can have arrays set in the JSON format. To do so, you can come here, click this plus row button, I'm sorry, plus column button, choose the data type as an array, give it a good name. So I'm going to call this one list and add column. And my list as an array showed up here, so I can add arrays in the JSON format here. To illustrate that, I'm going to manually add one array here. So this uh, JSON uh, format for an array is inside brackets. We can put, for instance, uh, for an array of strings, we can put a string here. So string one, comma, string two. So parse will validate if the content of the array is an array type, but not the contents of the array. So for instance, I can, I can have a string uh, array in here, and in here I can have, for instance, a number array. So 1, 2, 3, 4. As long as it matches the JSON format for an array, it will be able to save it. So if you need to validate the uh, inside content of your array, in, uh, you have to do this validation yourself using uh, some logic on the front end or perhaps in cloud code in a before save event, but parse uh, itself will only validate if it's a valid array. And let's see how to store that data as a Flutter uh, uh, method. Here I am in my Visual Studio and here I have my uh, back for app.dart class that we created on the last videos. And here we have all our um, variable settings. So we have um, setting the message property as a string, set the watch the property as a number, set the deletion time as a date. And today we're going to do a set for the array lists uh, that we just created. So this is a little bit different. We won't be using just the set method. Today we'll be using the set add method where we can pass a list. So all I'm going to do is dot set add all because I'm going to add all the objects to that array and then uh, passing my the column name in this case is list and just let me be sure it's list as an array and comma and then I can pass on my array uh, in the regular format so here I'll, I'll having uh, this comma is comma an comma array. I'm going to save this and then flutter run. This takes a couple of moments. Uh, I'm going to choose my simulator. In my case, is the number two, the iPhone 12. It will compile everything. and relaunch my application. So let me bring my simulator up again. There you go. Now, if I go back to my back for app parse dashboard and refresh, here I have my list as an array. 
So once again, array is a very flexible uh, way for you to store multiple data inside this, the same object, but you have to take some precautions when using it, especially if you have to validate the contents of the array before saving it. So I hope you liked this video and hope to see you on the next one of this series. See you soon. Bye bye.